always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Wow, tough for them to see if they wanted to go anywhere this morning. Tough to see because of fog. We had there. some fog, right? We did have some fog. It was uh, quite the dense. Uh, we covered it this morning, and we were. It was very difficult to see the car in front of you. Once you get into that visibility, uh, you run into trouble. Lifted nicely though, and now we are quiet. And what happened was, of course, we had a clear night, clear skies, calm winds, and very cool temperatures. And that set the stage for the temperature to meet the dew point, saturated, and there we were. Look at the wind. They're very important today. Southeasterly winds at 10 miles an hour. We hit 85, three shy of the record temperature. But interestingly enough, today on the first day of March, our normal high temperature is now 80 degrees. Yes, and if you've been following along, it's the first day of meteorological spring, astronomical spring, when we get to 12 and 12 as far as the daylight and nighttime. That won't be until March 20th. By then, we'll have uh, even more daylight here as the clocks have changed. Uh, temperatures uh, for uh, today were in the mid, low to mid 80s, so a few degrees below where we had yesterday. Next Straight our network. Boy, this has been uh, quiet as can be with this area of high pressure dominating. So the southeast wind was important. Yesterday we had a land breeze here that was just bringing the hot air from the peninsula for today. We were tapping into that water temperature that's in the upper 70s, so that's a moderating temperature at night and during the day. If you get a little sea breeze there, it can cool you off. That's why Miami Beach is usually on the cooler side uh, next to uh, the airport temperature there. So this is the forecast for uh, tomorrow. Again, warm. The concern here and what we have to look for next is on Friday. This is going to be a very windy day. I'm talking 20, 30, perhaps 35 mile an hour wind gust. So this is going to be a bigger deal on Friday. And then, yes, we get this front coming in on the weekend. Weekend. It's going to be slow to get here. In fact, the cool down behind it is not going to happen until early next week, but we will get a couple of showers out of it and uh, temperatures that will stay very warm. In fact, uh, near 90 by Saturday afternoon. All right, so let's put this in motion uh, the next three days and pay attention to uh, the wind meters here as far as the wind gusts and what I'm thinking uh, we're, we're doing here on a Friday. So let's pause it at six. We're doing OK. Then the front approaches. We get the heating of the day going. Subtly winds. These are gusts 15, 20, 27, 30 miles an hour. That is a big deal for us here heading into a Friday afternoon. And then the winds uh, will be into a die down for Saturday. So we'll be in better shape. Tomorrow's temperatures once again in the low. 80s. So we'll have winds that'll be breezy, but not as gusty as I'm thinking on Friday. We'll stay on the breezy side on Saturday, and that also will be a south wind, and that also will get temperatures very close and hitting at 90 degrees. And then there is that cool down for early next week. It's not going to be a blockbuster front, but at least it'll take us from 90 degree weather to lower 80s, along with low rain chances as well. Ivan, thank you. We're